Good morning, this is Amarjot Singh. Many people ask me if they can help them in job placement to uh, boost their points in Express Entry, PNP, or Global Skills Entry, or direct uh, work permit uh, uh, with, the, with the Canadian employer. And uh, very frequently I've told them, look, I don't participate in the job placement process, but today I have some jobs that I want to share with you. On the screen you can see Allison Jones Consulting Service. So this is a recruitment company based in Edmonton and they have shared some jobs with me and I will read out those jobs and of course I'll post this entire description at the at the bottom of my of my profile so that you can you can pause the video perhaps you can read from there uh, they are looking for typically computer science majors uh, somebody who has a bachelor's or master's degree in computer science with at least five to seven years of experience and with your education also being assessed uh, from um, what is called uh, WES, IQS, or ICS. All right. So your education should be assessed from Canada. You must have an ILTS score, a good score, and you must have a degree in computer science. That is the minimum requirement. And of course, based on the job description, you may have additional requirement, but these are the minimum requisite requirements that you need to have before you decide to polish your resume and send it to her. All resumes must be sent directly to the company, not to me, because I, I cannot make a hiring decision, they will, all right? So they will do their own screening. They will possibly schedule a, a Skype interview with you or phone interview, and then they will decide if you are, uh, if you have the minimum necessary requirement to move forward to for the interview with the employer, all right? So take, take a look on the screen. I'm looking at IT project manager, uh, which is uh, which is quite a little, uh, just a little description, but it tells you. Minimum candidate qualification is uh, ILTS, Bachelor Degree in Computer Science, seven years of progressive experience in Project Madden. All right, so this is this is one network security analyst. Uh, let's see what we have here. Network security analyst. Okay, uh, computer securities, uh, networks issues. Minimum again, minimum candidate qualifications. All that. All right. So the third one is uh, QA analyst. Also typically the same profile. Let's see who else is here. Business analyst. Uh, minimum candidate qualifications again, ILTS, bachelor's degree computer science, and minimum of seven years experience here, not five years, sorry, seven years here. And uh, let's take a look at who else. So DBA, of course, a DBA description of DBA as usual. Uh, minimum English language, of course, again, bachelor's computer science, five years experience. And it tells you recognize uh, DBA certification also like IBM certified DBA and other things. You, if you are from the computer background, you would already know this. Let's take a look at the fourth one, solutions architect. Uh, again, same thing, bachelor's degree computer science. Uh, what else is uh, computer programmers? Nothing fancier, same thing. Um, all right, what else? We got a, quite a number of jobs here, IT jobs, programmer, analyst. All right, what else we got going on here? What else here? System analyst. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to hold the screen here for a little bit, little bit here. Minimum candidate qualification, same thing. English, bachelor's degree, computer science, uh, five years experience. Uh, the description, job description, whether you have system analyst, uh, clear, everything clear. Desired competency, seven years experience as a system analyst, bachelor's degree, computer science, um, and uh, advanced knowledge of software development lifecycle protocols. Okay, and uh, what do we have more? Web designer, of course, sure. Web designer as well. It's pretty much the same usual description. So here's the, I'm going to stop at uh, the screen on, on the email. Please express your interest by clearly indicating which position you're applying for and forward a resume to itcareers at ajccanada.com. Remember, itcareers at ajccanada.com. Make sure when you are sending your resume in the subject line, make, you can, if you list uh, the reference as from YouTube, so at least they will know where, where this resume is coming from so that they can track whether this uh, system of channel is working or not. So make sure on the subject line, write YouTube and send your resume directly to this and then wait uh, till they call you and then we can go from there, all right? So do not, re repeat, do not, send the resume to me directly. I'm not the hiring decision maker. They are, they will screen your resume and they will forward to the employers. And then uh, hopefully you'll you'll hear from them, all right? So that's all it is. Thank you very much. I'm going to post this uh, description directly in my, uh, the bottom of the description uh, screen here on YouTube so that you can follow it directly. And you can also alternately pause this video and then, you know, re re read this. 
so hey, uh, this is good news. If you are IT major, if you have IT background, and you are looking to uh, crack into the Canadian job market here, this is a good opportunity. You should try your luck. And of course, uh, as usual, uh, send this information to many of your friends, uh, your well wishers, anybody else uh, who you want them to find a job in Canada. Maybe your cousin, brother, sister, or somebody overseas. Uh, and you know, uh, share this video to as many people as possible. I'm all always looking for, uh, especially I'm always looking to send this message to uh, H-1B majors in um, in U.S. H-1B uh, visa holders, people who are looking for jobs, uh, maybe people already in Canada on a holiday maker visa, or maybe on a on a NAFTA visa, or maybe an intra-company transfer visa, or people who are uh, you know maybe students who are on a postgraduate work permit, they don't need any sponsorship. Uh, they can apply directly on open work permit. They may have studied computer science here. They may have some advanced degrees and experience from their native countries and they have open work permit they can immediately start uh, start working uh, for people who require visa sponsorship you can you should when you send your resume to them you should clearly mention that you have no uh, you know open work permit or other eligibility to work uh, without visa sponsorship and you require visa sponsorship so so that the employer knows that they have to do a certain extra step to bring you on board, all right? Thank you very much for your time, and I wish you good luck.